If we've got any chance of hitting net zero carbon emissions by 2050, we all know Europe's going to have to drastically transform the way it generates energy. Hello, this week on Business Planet, we're focusing on the power of hydrogen, long held up as one of the answers to our energy problems. For all the hype, it's never really lived up to its promise. But is that changing? We're here in Germany to see how one firm's tech could be about to put Europe on the road to a low carbon future. For decades, hydrogen has been touted as a fuel of the future. But German firm Hydrogenius believes the element's day in the sun has finally arrived. The company says its tech can transport hydrogen at low cost. That's important for green hydrogen, hydrogen made without fossil fuels, as it can link production sites like wind farms and solar power plants, bridging the gap to areas where the hydrogen is most needed. Daniel, what's special about your technology and what's its potential? Our technology allows for the safe and efficient storage of hydrogen in a liquid carrier, which is fully compatible with today's infrastructure for liquid fuels. And in terms of its potential, we really want to facilitate the large-scale implementation of green hydrogen infrastructure all over Europe, with a big target and vision to really decarbonize Europe, decarbonize mobility, decarbonize industry, and therefore really contributing to our efforts against climate change. And in terms of unleashing the power of hydrogen, how important is Europe's role in developing the right ecosystem? I believe that Europe's role is hugely important. Hydrogen needs to be thought big. In my eyes, it's nothing that you could implement on a national level. And therefore, I believe that also the funding mechanisms that are being put in place now by the European Union are exactly what it's needed in order to make green hydrogen become a reality. Right now, most of our hydrogen comes from fossil fuels, but it can also be produced from renewable energy using a process called electrolysis. The EU has made it a top priority to create 13 times more clean hydrogen by 2024 than today, rising to 130 times more by 2030. To do that, it's set up the European Clean Hydrogen Alliance. Open to all public and private players, it seeks to bring government and industry together. Hydrogenius is a member, as is Solar Power Europe. Valberger, your organisation, Solar Power Europe, is part of the European Clean Hydrogen Alliance. What will this alliance change exactly? You know, accelerating the production of clean hydrogen is critical to decarbonising sectors such as aviation or shipping. And this is where the Clean Hydrogen Alliance comes in. It is aiming to accelerate the production of hydrogen and ensure that this hydrogen is fully sustainable. And this is essential, as Europe's hydrogen production today is based largely on fossil fuels. Obviously, Europe's clean hydrogen capacity needs to be significantly scaled up. How will this alliance help industry and businesses to do that? The core objective of the alliance is to gather leading European businesses, from established market leaders to startups across the entire value chain, as well as policymakers from member states and that to kickstart the clean hydrogen economy. We have the potential to build a robust industrial ecosystem that will make Europe a world leader in clean hydrogen solutions. That's it for this Business Planet. For more insight on what the EU is doing to support Europe's burgeoning hydrogen sector, head to our webpage. Thanks for watching and see you soon.